Well, when it first started, they come down here and helped us all out, was trying to give us a little bit of work. And I, I, I went to work for the river keepers, so, you know, they kept me a little busy with the BP stuff and everything. But now, since it's all BP's pulled out of town, everything sort of, they're trying to more or less forget about it since times went on. Why so when BP is? come in here, they uh they throw a panic, a widespread panic into everybody. I mean they was they was telling people who come in to make claims, you know, you need to go out there and make just as much money as you can and catch as many oysters as you can, you know, because you never know when this is gonna take your whole bay out. And their biggest thing about that was is they was telling people that so the more money they made, the less they had to pay them. And then they put a lot, you know, they put that fear in everybody telling them to come out here and catch up everything or their bay was going to die because of this oil. So a lot of people come out here and caught everything. And now that it's all over with and we really didn't get the brunt of it, but we still may get the effects of it. And we're still out here oystering trying to make it, but everybody's done caught mostly everything up and we're having to try to, you know, walk around these seeds that we got to pick out the big ones. That's two big ones. All the rest of that's just undersized oysters, babies. So everything's still a little hectic. A lot of the oystermen are still scared and wondering what to do. There's some people who uh who didn't uh who didn't do wise with what little bit of money they did get, you know.